Welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. A deep borehole needs to be extremely tight against the environment. We not only have several steel casings in place, which stabilize the individual borehole sections, but also the anolite between the casings are filled with cement. And this whole wellbore construction is firmly cemented into the rock. It is like a permanent installation for eternity, in principle. But it happens, nevertheless, again and again, that such a borehole construction has to be dismantled. This is a rather difficult thing. The only way to get it done is to run a milling assembly into the borehole and mill away the whole structure of steel and cement. Of course, that is pretty rough procedure. It makes a lot of noise and generates a lot of chips. And in most cases, this milling process is very slow and results in high cost because the rental rates for drilling rigs are pretty high. Therefore, the drilling crew sometimes tries everything to somehow increase the speed by applying more weight on the mill, increasing the drill string RPM, and so on, and so on. But actually, high weight on mill and higher RPM does not necessarily result in high milling speed. It is more related to the chip shapes that result from the applied milling parameters. We can demonstrate this on our lead machine in the workshop. If we change the operating parameters just a bit, we can sometimes produce short friable chips or even long continuous chips like this. We also have a milling test rig at our institute. We use it for small scale simulations of milling processes in deep boreholes. Here too, you can see very clearly that there are longer and sometimes shorter chips depending on which operation parameters are applied. Not all chips are really suitable for milling operations. The chips that I prefer for milling operations are these very small chips, as you can see here. They can be easily removed from the borehole by the drilling mode. But if the parameters are not optimal, then we sometimes create very long curly chips with all kinds of shapes. And it is obvious that these chips are very difficult to remove from the borehole. Rather, they tend to wind up around the milling string and form chip nests like this. It blocks the whole string and clogs the borehole. Oh boy, that is quite a big mess. So with these long curly chips, we can't do anything useful on the rig. But it is Christmas time here. We can theoretically use these chips, for example, as you can see behind me, to decorate a pretty Christmas tree like we are doing here just now. I feel so much warm in my heart, and so I wish you all a Merry Christmas. Stay healthy into the new year, and keep watching our YouTube channel, Fun with Drilling Engineering. Look off. Einfach mal nur gut verstehen, dann ist nämlich Weihnachten.